Holy mother of God! <laughs> So I'm guessing you came from my last video where I bleached my hair. Now I look like Draco Malfoy from Harry Potter. And I'm going to tone it using Wella T18 and I'm going to be using 20 volume. I still have some spots that are a little like yellowy orange and I could bleach those again but I don't feel like I need to. And my hair is pretty damaged. I've had some fallout so... I'm not gonna bleach it again right now. Once my roots grow out a little bit, I might just like bring it down into these pieces, but I'm pretty confident that the toner will get rid of all of these like yellowy tones. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the toner. So with Wella T18, it's a one to two ratio. So you just dump the bottle of toner into your bowl. And then what I do is I just fill up this container with developer twice and then just dump it in here. I only have one glove because it was the last one in my package so I'm just gonna wear one glove. So I'm gonna try and apply it on the parts that are a little bit more yellow first and try to avoid my ends. Here we go. your negative orange ass here. <laughs> I don't need that orange negativity in my life. I got this all applied. I'm not gonna leave it on very long at all because it's burning my scalp so incredibly bad because I just bleached my hair. It's pretty much like I can't tolerate it anymore. It hurts so bad. It's only been on for like five minutes. But I'm going to go upstairs, leave this on for maybe five more minutes, and then rinse it off because one, I don't want my hair to be purple. <laughs> one, I don't want my hair to be purple. And two, I do not want this on anymore because it's hurting my scalp really bad. So I'm gonna go rinse this off in probably like five to eight minutes. You can leave it on for 30, but it hurts too bad for me to leave it on for 30 minutes. So, I'll be back. I just got it in my mouth. It hurts. Okay, bye. Okay guys, I am back. I just got done rinsing out the toner. It was only in for literally like 10 minutes or less because it hurt so bad on my scalp and I used cold water in the shower because my scalp was on fire. And this is how it turned out. It's definitely like that white color that I wanted but there are some areas and I'll show you them that are still like a yellowy color right here. It's a little yellow right in through there. And then there's also a big spot in the back of my head that I missed with toner, or it's just because it's the last spot that I applied it and it wasn't on long enough. But in a couple weeks, I will re-bleach like this whole area of my head, but I'm gonna wait a few weeks to let my hair recuperate a little bit. And I won't pull it through my ends at all because my ends are like a perfect color. And I'll try not to get this area, but like just right in through here, I need to just go in and re-bleach with like 20 volume for like, 20 minutes and it should be totally white all over. I'm gonna turn around and show you guys the back so you can see the spots that I missed.
I'm not gonna blow dry it. I'm gonna let it air dry for a few hours. And once it's all air dried, I'll come back to you guys and show you what it looks like air dried. Because when it's wet like this, things always look darker and different when it's wet versus when it's dry. So I'm gonna let it air dry for a few hours and I'll come back to you guys once it's totally dry. Okay guys, so it has been a couple hours since I last saw you. My hair is almost completely dry now. It's just wet a tiny bit damp in a few areas, but for the most part, it's completely dry and I love the way it turned out. It is so pretty. It looks so much different wet than it does dry. It dried really nicely. I love it. It's like a perfect true white color. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next video. And until next time guys, stay weird. And I